He was the only leader who realized his vision in his own life. He was born in Mecca as an orphan. He was raised in Mecca. He was driven out of Mecca. He was punished, had to flee. He was persecuted. His followers were killed. But Allah allowed him to come back 23 years later as a victor, as a conqueror. And when he came back, he gave everyone amnesty. He realized his vision. And after that, the Prophet ﷺ spread his message. He spread Islam throughout the peninsula of Arabia so that Islam became established as a state, as a government. He was the ruler. But he was still eating and drinking and dressing the same way that he was doing as he was born and as he grew up. The Prophet ﷺ handed over his life to his Lord. He gave up his life to his Lord and passed on Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 23 years after the revelation came to him. He was 40 when the revelation came. He was 63 when he passed away Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the next four men that succeeded him, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, and Ali ibn Abi Talib, in those next 32 years, the Muslim frontier spread from the Arabian Peninsula all the way to what is now Italy, all the way to what is now Spain, all the way to what is now West Africa, all the way to what is now Indonesia, all the way to what is now China. This is what Allah manifested from that man and from that message and from that revelation and from that inspiration and that legislation still is in the earth today. Take all the Qur'ans and all the Bibles and all the Torahs and all the Zabur and all the other books, throw them in the ocean. All the religions would have no way to get their message back. But because Allah caused that revelation that came to Muhammad wasallam, that inspiration that came to Muhammad wasallam, that legislation that is in the world today, Every place Muslims gather, there's at least one or two or three that has memorized this book. This is the evidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said He will preserve it, and He has preserved it through the hearts of the believers. That is the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the evidence of His message. O Muslims and O non-Muslims, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the only prophet that realized his vision, and he became the executive and the law preserver. He was not a law giver. No, the law came from Allah but he was the executive that executed and guarded that law. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he taught the whole of humanity. He passed on his teaching so that the Quran was preserved and his sunnah was preserved. We have with us today books like Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Nasai, we have these books, the Sahih Sitta, among them, 
more than 14,000 documented authentic ahadith from the Prophet ﷺ that we can trace right back to his mouth, that we can trace right back to his behavior, that we can trace right back to his approval. No one else has a posterity of documentation like that. The Prophet ﷺ without doubt was the man who brought the most powerful message to this world.